welcome to the link edition uh, this week NTV the link and uh, we as we promised we are trying to keep our promise information you can use we provide and we also provide opportunities and tonight we're talking about the SME recovery fund uh, for most of 2021 it was spoken about 2022 it came to pass but many people did not um, necessarily uh, go to borrow this money, which, was, uh, which is 200 billion, 100 from government and uh, 100 from the banks. It was designed to help SMEs recover, and there was a lot of lobbying to this end. However, those who were supposed to go for it did not go for it as expected because there were issues, especially conditions. Uh, some things have changed, and uh, tonight in the studio, uh, I have Mr. John Warugan. Many of you know him. He's the executive director for the Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises, a champion for SMEs and speaks for them a lot, uh, policy and otherwise. John, welcome. Thank you, Sam, for having me here. All right. This evening. What is the status of the SME Recovery Fund as we speak today? It is, okay. Did it die or is it still there? No, so I think it's important that we explain to the viewers what it is okay. and how it came about. As you know, in 2020, we had the initial lockdown in March, and a lot of businesses were squeezed. Mm. A lot of businesses had to close because suddenly they had no customers, they had no sales, but the expenses remained. Yeah. So we pushed in the initial lockdown mm. for some kind of stimulus package. Government put the money in you, the Uganda Development Bank, or promised to put the money in the Uganda Development Bank. Uh, but the conditions mm. we felt uh, were a bit stringent at that time and also because UDB lacks a footprint nationwide it mm. also became difficult for different SMEs across the country to access, to access it. Mm. So up during the second lockdown now uh, we pushed for a new intervention so that's how when the president was opening the economy he announced yeah. or he, re he didn't even announce he instructed the bank of the central bank and the Ministry of Finance to come up with a proposal of a stimulus package mm. for the MSME sector. Okay. So that's how the Small Business Recovery Fund came to be. We co-created it ourselves, the Central Bank and yeah. the Bankers Association, mm -hmm. and a few other stakeholders. So the initial con so these initially we thought it was an MSME facility, but we said the money is little, mm. so let's focus. Let this money be for small businesses. That's why it's called the Small Business Recovery Fund. Okay. And we said for you to benefit, you must have between five to forty-nine employees. Why we didn't want the big guys to come for this money and again? Take it all, yeah. Also, the small people have their own money through Mioga and mm. so on. So we wanted these small businesses that in the middle. who have not been targeted to, to, to be able to receive this support. Mm. And then we said you can only uh, ask for this money once. And then we said if you're an existing customer of a bank, you are not accept because you have already received a facility. Mm. You see? Why should you receive the money twice? If you are looking for people to baptize and for you a Catholic, mm. you are already in. Mm. We are looking for new converts. Mm. See, so the idea with this fund was we are trying to look for new people who have not previously benefited from the different schemes yeah. to come in. That's why we, those conditions were put in place. Okay. But um, the people you targeted did not come for the money. What no, happened? that's not correct. Mm. That's not correct. So there were a number of issues. One, the awareness was limited. Okay. Once this fund was announced, our fi friends in the banks and the central bank yeah. owned it. Mm which wasn't a bad thing, but they didn't popularize it. They are busy. They have other things that they do. Yeah. You know, if you ask a bank, small business recovery fund, it's a very small th They have a lot of work. So mm. they didn't really take it seriously, okay. in my opinion. So the awareness was low. Uh, the other issue was also the banks themselves. You had some staff were not even aware that the small business, someone would go, I want money from small business recovery. Yes, yes, but we also have our money. Mm. Because the issue is, Small Business Recovery Fund was charging interest of 10%. Yeah. So you imagine you're a banker, you have your money, you want 24%. This person walks in, I want government's money of 10%. Uh -huh. Priority 24. Priority 24 because you're in business, you're not a charity. Mm. So it became very difficult. Okay. You see, it's like saying we asked the cat to guard the rats. See, it became very hard. But Central Bank says the also the because of the conditions. The, the Central Bank says the conditions. The conditions had no problem mm. because 
the conditions were put there to ensure that cert a certain group of SMEs. The reason people were complaining about the conditions, yes. th that mainly came from the commercial banks. Mm. The commercial banks wanted to give money to their usual suspects, okay. and their usual suspects needed more money. Mm. Here we're saying you can't borrow more than 100 million because you're going to exhaust the money. Mm. So we said this cap, but now these bigger guys already get, wanted still to pick this money, mm. and they are not interested in 100 million because it's more. Hence the push to revise the conditions. Okay. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you want me to now yes. talk about the revised. We know the condition. central bank revised has eased revised some of these conditions. So the what is conditions the latest now? Are yeah. you can access up to three hundred million. Yes. You know, if you ask me, I wouldn't support it because mm. it's those big guys who are going. A few guys are going to pick up this money, mm. mop it out, and that's it. The second conditionality is they've lowered th that. If you have up to two employees, you can still borrow. It's yeah. not a bad thing, but if you have up to two employees, you have other mechanisms that from which you can borrow, as I've mentioned. Mm. There's the MUGA scheme, there are other schemes, you know. So then it ceases to be a small business recovery fund because now you're including people who are already covered in other schemes. The two employees is what? Is it micro? It's a micro business. I thought micro is just me alone. Well, micro, you have up to five employees. Okay. From zero up to five employees. Mm. So now you're bringing the micro guys. So you are now changing the name. Mm. You see? Then you don't call it small business. Get another name. You see, that that's the other, that's the, the other change. Then, yeah. then, then the other um, change is that they have allowed the banks to use this money to assist their businesses who have failed to to pay mm. now this is going to make it very hard mm. it's going to defeat the purpose because what the banks are going to do they are simply going to look at they are going to use this money to just clean up their non-performing loans mm. yes you have mr Arugembe has been struggling with loans so you call him mr Arugembe. there is some relief here eh? the, the, mr Arugembe has applied for some business then you assist him to pay installments and so on mm. so the guy we were targeting who is not in this bank will not be served because this bank also has an interest in starting with its own yeah. who are struggling but so it means you are simply yes. this is th you are this is credit relief now for the banks mainly you're helping the banks but john to clean up where did the problem come from because uh maybe the small person that you are targeting yes uh either collapsed no, or did not see the need to come no, for the money? No, 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 Mr. S Sam, mm. they were kept on going. Yes. And the bank kept on, oh, we are not aware, we are waiting for conditions. We are they, they were just pretending. Mm. Now, they kept on telling finance, the conditions, the conditions, the mm. conditions. Mm. Because they want to support these other friends of theirs, who, the usual suspects. So, we think those changes are, in our view, they, oh, they, they, they'll exhaust the money and they report good figures. The SMEs have accessed this money. We yeah. are very grateful, 100% uptake. But I think the target group that we intended to yes, support yes. will not be supported. That's my, that's my view. Okay. And I pity the, the, the Ministry of Finance because the Ministry just wants to see this moving. Yes, see? because the but money wasn't being taken. Yeah, but if I come to you, if I give you my... If I leave my money with X. Then I say, go and pick money. When the person goes, you say, I'm not aware. I don't know. Maybe first call him. His phone is off. You confuse me until I give up. It's not my problem. Mm. I've approached you. I've requested. You know. So I think that in our view, um, they should it may, not, they, they, they it should may not solve the originally intended reason. Yes. We shall tick the boxes. Yes, we shall say we've given out money. We've done this. But it, it will not resolve. The original but situation. John, um, before we go to the final question, um, yes. you as FSME should have also played a role in uh, we are, popularizing. No, no, no. We are, no, but, <laughs> we, but, but but we need to collaborate with the central bank. Yes, the yes. central bank is the fund manager. Yes. So what we are going to do, we are going to reach out again mm. to the central bank to see how we can work together to popularize it. Maybe what you can blame us is that we have also not been proactive. Yes. We've not taken time to engage the central bank and say what do we do. So I think what we'll do now is that we'll reach out, yeah. we'll uh, see what we can jointly do to ensure that there's increased uptake by the original. So tell the SMEs, look at that camera there, tell the SMEs, please come for the money. <laughs> no, it's not free, it's not a grant. These yeah. are loans, they have conditions, you yeah. must...
fit, you, you must be able to comply with those conditions. So I don't want to give the impression that there's some free money. There's not free money, it's 10%. <laughs> not just 10%, yeah. they'll ask you for various requirements. First of all, you must have a business. Yes. That business should have been existing during COVID. Yeah. You must be able to demonstrate that your business was adversely affected during COVID-19. Mm -hmm. mm. You must show why you want the money. Okay. Just because your business had issues and it's no longer viable, doesn't mean you're entitled to the money. You mm. must explain to the bank why you want the money you must explain how you repay it you know remember this is a very uh, uncertain economic period mm. so it means your assumptions and your projections must be sound okay so smes must appreciate this and if you don't i think that issue also may be that some smes lack the expertise to put this thing together mm. what the banks require and and to access the loan may be rather complicated for them so I think the other proposition would be that you have a business development element to prepare these SMEs to access them. I'll bring you back and tell us about that business development to uh, yes. pitch the banks. In one minute, John, mm. 2022 has been a tough year for SMEs. Everybody but SMEs for you. That's mm. your docket. Mm. How should they prepare themselves for next year in one minute? SMEs should be optimistic. Of course, the recovery is not as fast as you had anticipated but we are seeing some positives. Mm. We've had the issue of runaway inflation, of course, that the central bank has really moved ag aggressively to, ad to address yeah. using very tight monetary policy. We've seen the uh, government uh, not releasing as much money as has cut expenditure. Mm. has cut expenditure. All these meant to tackle inflation. So we think that going forward, uh, all factors constant, we'll see a recovery, but not as fast as you imagine mm. because we are still tackling with a lot of external issues from the Ukraine war, mm. from the supply chain disruptions due to COVID-19 and other things. Yeah. There may also be other events that may occur in 2023 that we don't have an idea of right now. So I think for the most important thing as a business person is A, to be optimistic, but B, to prepare for the worst. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, John, uh, for that. And uh, viewers, uh, you've heard about the recovery fund. The Terms have been uh, uh, revised. You can borrow 300 million now and you can use it to uh, redeem your loan in the bank. John doesn't like it, but <laughs> those, <laughs> those are the conditions that have come. Uh, we hope that you go and take advantage of this money. 200 billion. It's not free money, it's 10%. And as John said, you've got to explain why you need the money. That was the link. Thank you for joining us tonight.